Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. I'm Lamar Haven. Welcome back to Mega Man X. We're going to be having to do some revisits. We're going to hit up Chill Penguin, Bark Mandrill, we're also going to go to Boomer Kuwanger, and Flame Mammoth, and I might have lied about not having to revisit a character. You'll see why later. Thank you uh, for your patience, and I'll cut right to those as soon as possible. Hello, folks. Just getting this up here. If you press up and jump while you're inside one of those, you jump out, boom, fire on the igloo, and you get a heart. We are now officially as big as our weapon uh, tower, our weapon bar. Don't laugh, I didn't mean it like that. And I'll catch you guys on the next power up. Hello, folks. Just getting this real fast. Oops. <laughs> you have to jump and make it come down. There you go. And that's the last sub tent. So I'll catch you guys in the next area. Alright, and here's the other power up. I might have mentioned there are two in the Boomer Kwanger level. I am definitely wrong. <laughs> so, boom. Heart beat. Catch you guys in the next area. Alright, folks. Here we are. This requires nearly perfect precision to get it to work. And I got it on my first try? Yes, I got it on my first try! Ha 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 ha! Victory! And here is a power-up that's one of the most useful in the game, but useless if you're getting it in a revisit, probably. I'll tell you why later. The X-Buster is getting improved. I mean, after all, that is the last piece of armor on us that isn't upgraded. Is the arms. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. I believe that's a mistranslation, or at the very least misleading, because you could already fire all types of weapons, couldn't you? It means something else. You'll find out. And there we go. The armor is complete. Watch this. We have an extra level to our charge! And it comes with another bonus! You'll see later! Until then, see you soon! Yeah, folks, about that not having a revisit thing... I lied! Uh, this is the power-up I always, always, always miss. I almost always have to look it up or something. Anyway... Jump... here. Uh, the water's only here after you defeat Launch off this. So I'll catch you guys next time. And here we are, finally ready to take on Sigma himself. Of course, because this is run by the Scooby-Doo gang. Again, because you don't have a big ego or anything. Come on, I'm at my full power now. What could possibly go wrong? Turtles! Turtles are what could go wrong. So, let's start showing off stuff, shall we? Storm Eagle Tower. Why, it's my favorite. It just rips through these guys. Free life! You know, I don't like having to push the button too early all the time. Let's come up with a better plan. Welcome to the truth. Shut up. Don't say it. Shut up. That was all your fault, whoever you are. <sighs> okay. Well, I was trying to show off. Happened to be... Something like this. This is the true power of the X-Buster. The ability to charge your attack. All of them. Every single power has a secondary use now. If you charge it. It uses a ton of weapon energy pretty much every single time. But my god are they useful. 
I always forget about that one guy. He's the most dangerous enemy in the game. Most dangerous enemy. Alright. So we keep going. I want to check something first. Okay. I just double check when I'm power up and stuff. Just in case. Uh, the most overpowered weapon to use in pretty much all these levels is this. I'm taking way too long to switch weapons, but it's, it's a terrible habit of mine. But oh well. You can dash under these guys too. <laughs> you have to be very careful, but it just lowers you enough. What the? Vile. Uh, it, we, well, I guess you were the only one who could take him on last time, so go nuts. His dash is better than mine. Alright, so let's see what's going on then. I mean, you can at least spectate, right? Uh-oh. Hmm. None of that sounded good. Zero, you're okay, right? Oh. Oh, you're not okay. Hmm. That's a thing that could happen. Blast him. Because that worked so well last time. Potentially, I am a little stronger now. Armored carrier, just call it a mech. And ancient, I'll have you know that ancient technology is always the best technology. Haven't you played any RPGs? Um, no, but seriously. You can't do anything to him like this. Blast him all you like. He ain't got a health bar. He ain't going down. See? Don't waste your weapon energy. Don't waste your sub tank. Just sit there and try not to. Try, I guess. Because my goodness. Looks familiar, don't it? It's that damn mech of his. We just can't touch him. Why is he bothering to put us all the way over there? And I guess maybe he's separating in prison, nurse? Hero! If you could have done that, why didn't you do it early? Uh oh. Uh, are you gonna shoot him in the head? Please tell me you're gonna shoot him in the head. That doesn't look like you're shooting him in the head. Zero! Uh oh. Well then, cocky son of a bitch went and blew himself up, and only managed to blow up the map. Worthless jester, huh? Worthless jester, huh? My rebuttal! I would tell you all about, like, the power of friendship and all of that, but honestly, I just want to kick your ass. You know what? You're right. No more words. Let's just do it my way. Boom! Full blast! Ah! The stun! Yeah. This guy's got a lot of moves. So be careful. Stun blast, the bombs. Ah! Jumps, the dashes. I mean, he does have a freaking cannon on his shoulder. I always get hit by those. Oh well. Ah! Stun! And you're. Fletcher doesn't even charge while that happens. But that doesn't matter. You say I'm weak, you say I'm useless, you get my friend blown up. Okay, that was him, but still. I get to see you blown up. Fair's fair, right? Not gonna comment on the bleeding. Because, you know, powerful scene and all. You did kind of self-destruct, man. He 
Vile found that out the hard way. Wasn't enough, though. I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Alright, potential uh, change to that scene. Just FYI. Uh, it changes if you do not have the Buster power-up. Zero gives you hit. It's the exact same thing. It's just the Buster power-up. But I figured I should probably mention it. That's why I kept saying that the Buster power-up, while very useful, isn't very useful for this specific run, because you get it right away. So... But Zero's dead, and you'll never see that character in this series again. Spoiler alert, you do. <laughs> but it looks like we're already to another boss door. What could this possibly mean? Are we already done with the level? That doesn't look right. That doesn't sound right! That's right, every Mega Man game has to have a boss rush. However, unlike previous Mega Man games, the Mega Man X series decided to try something different, and threw in Mavericks during the levels. They're going to be spread out between all the levels, that, uh, between some of the Sigma levels, until we lead up to the fight with Sigma himself. So, yay! In what, that makes the game a lot easier in a sense, because you don't have to go through an entire level, hit the boss rush, and then do every single boss one after another. This, you get a level in between, you get battles in between, you get a, a chance to power up your health and weapons in between. It's a lot easier, and I don't remember if they keep it up throughout the rest of the series. Uh, it, I just have poor memory of the other Mega Man X games, having rarely played them. I have, actually, on GameCube, both the Mega Man and the Mega Man X collections. However, the Mega Man X collection doesn't work. It can't work with, uh, modern TVs. Alright, so the only, uh, Maverick we had to fight this time was Boomer Kawanger. Instead we get this guy, and I think this guy's kind of an infamous boss to some people, because he can be pretty hard. His weakness is ice, though. I'll give that away right now. Boom. His eye opens, you can hit him. Before his eye opens, you can't hit him. He follows all those paths down. Every single path he can take, he will. He'll either go left or right, it doesn't matter. Oops. Misjudge. I actually had a practice fight against this guy where I didn't get hit once. But that took a level of <laughs> mental concentration that I'm not sure it's possible while I'm po commentating, too. Oops, getting hit. Uh, hard to time it, he only gives you a split second to hit him. There you go. Plus, as he gets more damage, he's going to start falling back. You might already notice he's starting to. Alright, just keep up the pressure. There's no real way to speed this up any faster than it's going. Just keep hitting him whenever he gives you the opportunity. That's one of the problems with the Maverick, uh, with the, uh, Sigma bosses, really. They, they can be, they have weaknesses, but they can't be cheesed very easily. Oh darn, you have to actually put effort and skill into it. Oops. Just yeah, keep going. One more hit's all I need. Once you get to a certain point, you memorize the patterns. But that is it for me for today. Next episode, we can move on to through Sigma's Fortress. Until then, I'll see ya.